three, two, one. All right, welcome. This is Joe the Masks, or Joseph. Uh, and then this is my roommate here, and basically the one who bought all this product. Uh, Dylan. All right, uh, we're basically gonna do an unboxing today, something I've never really done before. But uh, we found that there's not a lot of good unboxings of stuff, as well as some of this stuff doesn't even have any unboxings. So, we're going to do this for you. Dylan really likes to watch them. I really like to buy and build models. So, it works both ways. Alright, so the first one we got that we're going to open up and take a look at is... Well, let's go ahead and All start right. with the... This uh, Warhammer 40k Tau X. V81 Crisis Battle Suit. See that there? Oh. This is how it came. Nice, you can see it. it's in a bag instead of a box, but eh, it's from Forge World. I think, I don't know if Forge World boxes any of its stuff. No, they no, they do box some of the stuff. Uh, the, there are a few oh, okay. things. Okay, so there's a few things that are boxed that we'll take a look at today. Uh, I don't really, you know, the, the I think the bag works just fine. You know, it's, it's closed up again, so that way wh while you're building, you just put stuff back in, and you got a little baggie for your sandwiches afterwards. So, personally, I think that's just fine. Uh, okay, so basically, it looks like here... Uh, I have no idea what these are. Uh, these are different bits and bits. Uh, the thing should tell me. Got a bunch of different stuff. Alright, here we got the rule book. Or, not rule book. I always call it the rule. Oh, wow. So this is the instruction sheet. How What I'm going to use to build this. Leaves a lot to be desired. Truth be told. But I'm I'm more used to that from old GW. Because old GW, like, the if you ever bought the Penitent Engine back in the day, you got a, like, uh, you didn't even get a picture. No, you got a box with a bunch of random metal bits in it. That just said, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in fact, even looking online, I found out that, uh, so it looks like it's part resin, part plastic. We got these resin bits over here, and then these, these plastic bits over there. So I'm going to have fun mixing resin and plastic together. I'm just glad that they decided to use the, uh, heavier, thicker plas plas uh, resin. That's true. And this not, And not the new, uh... This is much nicer than fine scale. Yeah, the the fine cast crap. I like this a lot better than fine cast. Yeah. Fine cast just Although, breaks way too easy. Well, it comes uh, with your with uh, battle damage pre ordered and pre on. Uh, so it looks <laughs> like it's got you know for the drone. I've got the drone and then the different heighted yeah, heighted yeah. ones. Kind of yeah. So I got I got the drone one, and then the base for the actual model. Uh, let's see what this is. Priming and painting. Uh, a guide to building resin model kits. Checked by some guy whose initials are LW. Uh, let's see what else is in it. Oh, maybe this. Nope, this just says cleaning. Cleaning, preparation, tools, glues. Stuff that if you've been modeling for a while, you don't really need. Uh, but if you're new, it could be helpful. Alright, so that's that. I'm not going to put it back in its bag right now, so we can just move on to the next model. Alright. Yeah, we'll probably will. Alright, so the next model we got in our bulk order from Forge World uh, is my... I'll get it this centered. Aha! Shadow Spectre Exarch! Because I want to build a Shadow Spectre squad for my Tau. Want to hand me a knife real quick? Or, or attack everything and get killed? Here, I'll grab mine. <laughs> I know where it is. <laughs> it just as long as I don't get stabbed by it. No, that, my, that knife only likes to stab me. Oh, good. By the way, is your leg healed? <laughs> you stand a knife, up, a knife straight up in your leg one time, you never get the end of it. Oh, well, I've never stood a knife straight up in my leg. Alright, so let's see what this model has to offer us. Okay, first is getting it out of the box. Okay, so no... Let's see what this paper... Nope, okay, yeah. The paper is just... Whoops. <laughs> Screw it. 
Uh, it comes with the, the fun Mechanicus emblem, and that's it. Garbage, and I ripped it, so it's double garbage. So we've got some fun, cloaky, wispy things. Uh, look, this is the, the legs as he's floating in the air. Probably show a back view. Yeah. There's his butt. Yeah, nice tight cheeks. Everyone needs nice tight cheeks. His gun. Uh, and then his arm. Looks like more wispy, cloaky stuff. Uh, I believe... Oh, this is his chest. I think. It's kind of chest-like, so I would say yes. Uh, it looks like it's got some mold damage. Uh, the thing's cracked there, as you can see. Yeah, it's actually cracked pretty bad. I'm probably going to have to fix that with some uh, poly. It's got a few cracks in it. Yeah. So not, not as good as the uh, towel when it came to uh, the mold. I'm going to throw it next to the towel, but only next to it, because I don't, if I mix those two up with no rule, with no uh, guidelines on how to build them... Might come out looking a little bit funky. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I am a towel Eldar. Fear me. You're a towel Dar. Yeah, I'm a towel Dar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> next object. <laughs> towel Dar. I'll probably give a glimpse of these in the package, at least. Oh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, because... these ones aren't ours. All right, so this one... The Imperial Knighthead VII, otherwise known as Seven. Imperial Knighthead Seven. So you can kind of really see it there in the package. Well. It looks pretty well molded. You can see the tentacles and the sides of the head. I'll probably wrap up the uh, new video after this. One. Okay. Well, All right. Here. So there's that for us. And that's episode one. <laughs>